Uh, there's three types of trans uh, three types of fees. You have your transaction fee, which is a fixed cost, eight cents or three cents. Secondly, you have your percentage fees. Again, um, those are going to vary from one percent all the way up to I've seen some merchants paying as high as four and a half percent um, on their uh, on every transaction. So that's going to depend on the amount of the sale. If it's a hundred dollar sale and they're going to pay two percent, then they paid two dollars for that transaction. Whereas if it was a thousand dollar sale and they're paying two percent, it'd be twenty dollars that they would pay for that transaction. And that's in addition to the transaction fee. So you have a transaction fee, then you have a percentage fee that they pay. Um, those percentage fees are several different ways that those are set up. Um, I'm going gonna, gonna to provide uh, different samples. You can look at processing statements. There's going to be links below this video that you can look at and see different processing statements and how the different plans look. But those are the main two, fee, the main two uh, fees that you're going to see on there is a transaction fee and the percentage fee. Um, both of those can be marked up and whatever is marked up is profit. Um, and that's what you want. Obviously you want some profit. But the trick is to not have it marked up so much that you can't get people to sign up for the service. And I'll talk much more about that when we get into selling it. Um, but again, you have your transaction fee as a fixed cost. Ranges uh, anywhere from 10 cents all the way up to 30 cents or 35 cents. Uh, then you have a percentage fee which depends on the type of card that they process. For instance, if they want a debit card as credit, in other words, you have your debit card from the bank, if you go somewhere and buy something with that, the cost for that running that debit card as credit might only be 1.09% or 1.1% of cost from Visa or MasterCard for that transaction. But let's say you take your rewards card from JCPenney or wherever it is, you go and use your rewards card at a merchant, for that card, they might pay 2.9 or 3% for that transaction. So the fees vary depending on the card type, also depending on the risk. Are they uh, processing the transaction over the phone? That's a higher risk to Visa and MasterCard. For instance, a pizza shop. They take an order over the phone, they take the credit card information, and they type it into their credit card terminal, meaning they're not actually swiping the card. They don't have the physical card. That is a much higher fee because it's a higher risk to Visa and MasterCard that comes into the percentage. They're going to charge a higher percentage for that transaction because it's a higher risk for them to run that transaction and guarantee payment on it. Because that person would come back months later and say, I never authorized that transaction, and the merchant would not have a signed receipt for that transaction. So it's a higher risk. Uh, the third type of uh, fees that a merchant will pay, the last kind, are processing fees that are fixed costs, for instance, uh, monthly fees. 